Hi, Madeline here from Sonic Bloom. Today, Ableton have announced the public beta for Life 12.1, and that's actually a big release with lots of new features, new devices, updated devices, lots and lots. But one thing that I want to show in detail today is auto shift and auto shift is what a lot of people have been asking for for a long time which is a pitch correction tool so basically auto tune in ableton life it's meant for monophonic sources mostly made for vocals it actually also sounds best with vocals from what i've tested so far which is not that much yet so let's have a look at it so you can find it on the audio facts double click and I'm going to turn it off for now. I've got a vocal that I recorded for a demo for YouTube and other social media. So there's no copyright protection that could be an issue. And I'm just going to play it quickly how it sounds. So... In a world gone insane, the same are called Mad Hatter. So this is not pitch corrected or anything. The only thing I've done is I've added a little bit of EQing and nothing else. So let's have a look at auto shift. So when I turn it on, by default, this is the settings. So it's the quantizer, which is the pitch correction tool, basically. And with the default settings, we can listen to it. In a world gone insane, the same are called Mad Hatter. It doesn't seem to be doing all that much, mostly because I've sung quite well. And the first thing we can look at here is it's got different settings for higher frequency ranges, mid frequency ranges and bass frequency ranges. So the high frequency ranges are mostly meant for female vocals. So I'm going to switch to this and let's listen again. In a world gone insane, the same are called Mad Hatter. So that doesn't seem to make much of a difference. You've got a display here where you see where the notes land. In a world gone so this insane, is right on point. And you can see that my vocal is quite on point most of the time I do tend to kind of slide into notes sometimes as my vocal style which is reflected as well but right now the correction strength that's the default is set to 100 right now also by default even though here it's set to G major right now the root is set to C and scale custom so we can change that so we can set it to G and major and you can see you've got quite a lot of scales here as well so basically all the scales you know from other scale aware devices in Ableton Live 12 and you can also use the current scale and set it to be scale aware basically in a world gone insane the same not called Mad Hatter still nothing changes much but once I turn smooth off, so basically it, it has a smoothing default setting of 50 milliseconds. So until that time, it basically it will just smooth the time over 50 milliseconds in this setting. And we can turn it off. And now... In a world gone insane, the same are called Mad Hatter. So now you can hear that it's got this typical autotune sound where it basically puts everything to be right on point, which is very robotic, but has become a style as well. So if you want this, just turn off smooth, to turn strength on to 100% and off you go, basically. But you can do a lot more with that as well. We can also turn smooth back on and just say, for example, let's set it to a smaller setting. In a world gone insane, the same not cold. So you hear that it'll still adjust the pitch correction more than if it's set to 50 milliseconds. And here you can decide if you want this shifted as well. So this is now in scale degrees. In a world gone insane, the same not called Mad Hatter. Let's put this back to default. In a world gone insane, the same not called 
Mad Hatter. You clearly hear that it's, it doesn't sound very natural anymore, but it's been shifted by uh, two scale degrees. I'm going to send it back. Then we also have a life mode. So this is if you wanted to use it in a life situation, but uh, you will likely get smaller glitches, especially in the beginning. And if you have rapid pitch changes as well. So if you have a jump from like of several scale degrees or semitones, then you will have that as well. Let's turn it on and have a listen. In a world gone insane, the same are called Mad Hatter. It's actually not too bad. We can also shift, pitch shift things. So I could, it goes from minus 12 to plus 12. Let's go all the way up. In a world gone insane, the same are called Mad Hatter. This is still like for the way I know my own voice, relatively convincing. If I go 12 semitones down, that's not the case anymore. In a world gone insane, the same are called Mad Hatter. But you can use this in, in fun ways to have like robotic voices as well, or for backing vocals, for example. Then next we've got the form and shift. So basically, this is like resonances of the vocal. In a world gone insane, insane, insane. So you can see I've I've turned pitch shifting off again, and it still sounds more chipmunky. In a world gone and if I go the opposite direction. In a world gone insane, 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 insane. So this is something that I would use lightly unless you want a really crazy effect, of course. Oh, one thing I forgot to mention before was the input gain. So if the vocal is pretty quiet, you could set and adjust the input gain accordingly. I'm going to leave it like that because the vocal is fine. In a world and then you also can have form and following. That it basically follows the pitch shifting. So if I set it to seven semitones, so that's In a fifth. Sometimes that makes a can make a bigger effect, and sometimes it doesn't. Then next up we've got vibrato. So vibrato is like a L of O, so it just vibrates back and forth around a specific rate. In a world gone insane, the same are called Mad Hatter. In a world gone insane, the same are called Mad Hatter. So let's let's turn this off again, or like a two six. In a world gone insane, the and now with that on. In a world gone insane, the same are called Mad Hatter. In a world gone insane, insane. So here you got can have like a fade in for the vibrato, so it doesn't start right away, and then you can also adjust the depth. In a world gone insane, insane, or cold. Up to two semitones. Which means, like, now we've In got a like world a very. Gone insane, insane, or cold, Mad Hatter. In a world gone insane, insane, or cold, Mad Hatter. In a world gone insane, insane, or cold, Mad Hatter. In a world gone insane, insane, or cold, Mad Hatter. In the world gone insane, insane. So you can add a vibrato to a voice if you like. Best in my opinion used if you want to actually change the voice to be less human sounding. That can be really helpful as well. And then I've got a dry wet so we could still have the dry sound coming through if needed. Most of the time you probably would not want this except you're using different features because we're not through yet and yeah so let's go to lfo so by default the lfo is turned off 
So here we can have an LFO reset. So basically the curve will be reset. If you are in quantizer mode, then it'll be reset with each new pitch that's detected. And then you can delay the LFO curve by up to 1.5 seconds. Let me turn that off again. In a world gone insane, the same not crawl, mad had a. So here you can apply the the LFO modulation to different things. So you can set it to the pitch, to formants, volume, or panning. So I'm gonna change this again. Maybe have a tech time. It slowly comes in, and then we could set it maybe to two. Semitones in the world gone insane, the same not cold. You can hear that it definitely makes a difference. We can also go really extreme up to the octave that allows us in the world gone insane, the same not cold. Getting a bit crazy. We can also adjust it in the world gone insane, the same not cold. So this can be useful, I find, if you want to have more like of a very auto-tuned sound for the vocals, for volume. In the world gone insane, the same. You could hear that it was applied that was initially more quiet, and then. It, but what I actually like it best for is the panning. So first of all, you can use like we've got different LFO shapes as well. So we've got sine wave, tr different triangle shapes, so up, down, rectangle, random and random sample and hold. I'm gonna set it to sine wave, and I'm actually gonna undo all these settings and have it back to the default. You have a uh, different rates that you can set as well. You can either set it free running. So it's not synced to life's tempo, or you can have it set in note measures. So right now it's a, a quarter note. And then if I apply the, the panning. In the world gone insane, the same, not cold, mad had a... In the world gone insane. So you automatically have panning applied to that, which you could also use on, on its own. So you'd could turn off the quantizer in the world gone insane the same not cold mad had a and another fun thing to do is to use for example either random or random random sample and hold for example for the pitch in the world gone insane the same not cold mad had a if you want to do like really crazy things uh, as an effect. And of course, you can use auto shift not just on vocals, you can use it on any monophonic instrument as well. So you could use it on synths or a guitar, even live guitar or live piano or any live instrument as well. You could also put auto shift, of course, on a MIDI track. So you don't have to use it just for audio samples. You've recorded audio clips. Okay, I'm going to and do this again. And then one thing that is also very fun is the MIDI mode. So you can turn MIDI on and then you can see that this here, the scale is grayed out because now the scale or the notes anything is shifted to is dependent on the incoming MIDI input. So I actually have other tracks in this live set. So for example, the first thing I'm gonna set it to is digital voice machine, which is just a monophonic melody that's skipping around quite a lot. Let's go in here. And so now you see it's changed to MIDI and you can will see what MIDI notes are played. You can set an attack time. So if you want this to kind of, if the envelope is supposed to be applied quickly or slowly, same for release. We've got key latch. So for example, if a note is played only briefly, then they will still be held until the next note on message comes. So and, and this, and until the next note is played. And we have pitch bend that we can set up to 48 semitones. In the world 
gone insane, the same the cold that had in the world. You can still use pitch shifting and so on, so I could still set it to. In the world gone insane. Well, let's maybe set it to. In the world gone insane, the same the cold that had a. In the world gone insane, the same not cold. So I don't have anything with pitch bent here, but pitch bent will just work as well. And we have also the, the option to route the modulation to certain things like pitch, the form and volume and panning again. And in this case, we've got velocity, pressure, modulation wheel, pitch bend, note pitch bend and slide that can be applied. The only thing in the MIDI clips that I have right now is velocity. In the world gone insane, the same, not cold, mad. But it might not do actually that much. But technically that can be applied as well. And then we've got polyphonic mode as well. And here we can select two, four or eight voices that are taken. I'm going to keep it at four because I have a maximum of four that I have like in Silver Search in a MIDI clip that's playing. So I've got clips that are technically playing. I've just soloed the track. And so... In the world gone insane, the same, not grown, mad had a... In the world gone insane, the same, not grown, mad had a... Okay, let's In the world gone insane, the same, not grown, mad had a... Now we can clearly hear, like now I've set the attack time to one second, you could really hear how this was slowly coming in. That most of the time will be too extreme. You can also set it to zero. In the world gone insane, the same, not grown, mad had a, in the world. But you could hear in the beginning that there was a bit of a click. So setting it to zero milliseconds is probably not the best choice. And then with the release, it's the same. We can set it up to five seconds. In the world gone insane, the same, not grown, mad had a, in the world gone insane, the same. So this time that actually doesn't do much. Uh, we can also set the voices to two, just. In the world gone insane, the same, not grown. Mad had a In the world gone insane, the same, not grown. Mad had a In the world gone insane, the same, not grown. Mad had a And right now I've got a MIDI clip playing, but you could also do this live. So you could technically just, uh, I have this track on here, I could set this to monitoring in and play something live to harmonize the sample that I've got. Or I could even have at the same time the audio track set to in and I could harmonize a live vocal that I'm singing, especially if I set it to live mode on the fly. So technically this could be also used in live performance. You'd have to test how well this works and how many artifacts and glitchy sounds you get while you're doing this. But I think this is really cool. That's it for now. I'm going to make more videos with other things that are implemented in Live 12.1. I hope you found this useful. If you did, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Until then, bye.